right, survivors, welcome back to Seven Days to Die with yours truly, Paulie the Pudgewood, in her cowgirl hat, and shades. She wears her shades at night because she's cool like that. But we are about to head outside and get to a uh, building over here, but it looks like it, well, it's still dark, isn't it? <laughs> it is only three o'clock in the morning, <laughs> but I don't see anybody out there. And we have, uh, I've got a tip. I've got a tip from you guys out there. Keep those tips coming. They're very, very handy. I do appreciate them. Apparently there is a, uh, whoops, where are we? Where are we? Here we are. Um, there's a building across the way here. We were there in the last episode. That one right there with the light above the door. There was a snake in there. Tried to get us in the last episode, but he couldn't get in. Um, but apparently there is a, whoop, I didn't mean to do that. Apparently there is a bunker in here. At least that's what uh, some of you had mentioned in the comments. That there is a potential bunker. And there's some kind of marking on the floor that indicates that. I didn't notice it because I don't know about bunkers in this game. But that right there? Is that it? I mean, it does look suspicious, so I guess I will have to take your word for it. Let's uh, oops, put up a couple of uh, wood frames and let's get a torch up. Now, can zombies see through these frames? Like, I'd go ahead and solidify these, but it does take time to get back out again. Looks like the sun's actually coming up already. 3 o'clock in the... 3.30 in the morning. Wow. All right. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, keep the likes and the comments and the tips coming. I really do appreciate it. And we're going to bust through this. Yeah, I guess it does sound a little different, doesn't it? Sounds hollow. Oh, yep, it's hollow, but holy smokes, a thousand health? That's going to take forever. Hopefully I don't have to remove the whole dang thing. And this is where that snake was. I don't see him now. I guess he lost interest in uh, Paulina, so... All right, let's get to work. Oh, there's a zombie right there, speaking of. Well, I guess we'll find out if he can see through frames or not. And away we go. This is going to take forever with a stone axe. Holy smokes. Well, all we have is time, at least right now in the middle of the night. Can't really do much. Stamina is dropping fast, and so is the durability of this axe. But that's okay. We're using skill here, right? So we should skill up. And we can skill up when we make a new axe. Oh, 4 o'clock in the morning. I guess that signals uh, dawn. Great. Okay. Zombies are slow again. Slow and stupid, just the way we like them. I can't wait to find out what's down in a bunker. My guess is a lot of survival supplies. Provisions, weapons, ammunition. Ooh, yes, very exciting. Hopefully there's antibiotics down there. <laughs> because poor Paulina here still has this infection. And I did discover that this is only the first stage of the infection. Right now there are no ill effects from this infection. We've got 50 minutes left in stage one. And then it advances to stage two. And that reduces your stamina or something like that uh, every like every couple of seconds or something until you have no stamina left and then all you can do is like lie on the ground and die i don't know it's like four stages or something in it so i thought it was going to run its course in two hours but that is not the case we absolutely have to remove that infection or it will indeed kill paulina we cannot let that happen we're just getting started here all right we're almost through this is fantastic. I can't wait. And whammo! Ooh! It's a stairwell down. Construction tools is now up at level 8 too, but I, don't, I bet we can't fit through that. Nope, I knew it! Is there a prone position in this game? I don't think so. Oh, dang it. All right, well, it looks like we have to remove this panel too. I don't see any other way. Stamina at 60%. Is there a uh, perk that will help here with this? Let me see. I think there is. Let's go to tools. Construction tools goes up on its own through use. We've got miner 69, but I think that's only with mining tools. Um, bad mechanic, maybe? Yeah, construction tools. Stamina degradation minus 10%. Yeah. And plus 10% harvest count? That's pretty good. Let's buy that. Oh, only is getting hot. All right. Let's have some yucca aid. Freshly made yucca aid. And I think we can take off her... Clothing is what people have said in the uh, in the comments that we should take off her clothes because it um, it it keeps the heat in, right? I mean, it insulates. 
Uh, we don't really have any space to do that right now. Let's hold off. Let's get down into the bunker first. I'm dying to see what's down here. <laughs> Let's get down into the bunker first where it's safe, and then we can uh, remove some clothing if we have to. Oh, all right. All right, I'm going to go down with a handgun because I don't know what's down here. Could be a zombie. Maybe somebody that lived here and built this bunker came down here, locked himself in, and then died. And they could be a zombie now. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, it's locked. <laughs> Do I have to find a key? Or do I have to bust through? Holy smokes, this thing's 2,500 health. Ugh, we're gonna be here all day. It's a good thing we got an early start. It's 5.30 in the morning. Oh, oh, there is somebody on the other side. What was I telling you? It, somebody did die down here. <laughs> Let him do the work. Hello? Yeah, come on out. Keep trying, we'll wait. Take your time, buddy. We'll just sit right here. Wait, we'll have a nice drink. Wait for this guy to get through. And then we'll waste him and move in. I wonder how long it's going to take this guy to get through, though. Hmm. Let me go check that door. Oh! Oh! Wow! He's doing nice work. It's too bad that we have to remove this door instead of being able to reuse it. I wonder if there's a key around. Do these have, like, keys? I don't know. All right, well, that dude is, uh, while well, he's working on that door, let's go up here. And I am going to drop a few things and get a little more comfortable while he's freaking out down there. I just heard something smash. It's not the door. Door's still there. Hey, buddy, you didn't give up, did you? Oh, no, you're still there? Okay, hey, let me help on this side, too. we will go through this faster. We don't have all day, you know. we got places to be, people to see. Infections to remove, etc., etc. Okay, that's good enough. I gotta make a new axe. Let's make a new axe while that guy finishes off that door. Oh, Paulina, I'm so sorry. I know you're hot. I'm gonna take off all that yucky uh, fiber clothing in a moment here. <laughs> Just waiting for this guy to get through. Oh, there goes another bar. This door. Oh, are you kidding me? Wait, dude, are you building it or are you destroying it? Oh no, now he's going through this the, the wall. Yes. Oh, this is such a shame that we have to remove this door. This seems really solid. It would have been awesome to keep this up. We could maybe hang out in here for the seventh day horde. Is there another way? Maybe through the wall. Well, I'm going to have to help this guy out. This is going to take way too long. There we go. That's a good zombie. Keep whacking. Ooh, we can see the bunker beyond. It looks amazing. Oh. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> Just when it seems like he's through, there's another bar or something in his way. This is good for uh, Paulina's construction skill, and she's getting metal out of the deal, so we might as well do it, right? Oh, gosh. Oh, wow, that was close. That was close. Can I shoot him in the leg right now? No. Oh, I was just about to go check. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm so sorry that we're taking over your bunker. I appreciate all the work you've done. And that is a lovely business suit. Thank you so kindly. All right, now, you may not be alone. Could be a sleeper in here. Maybe he was, came down here with a friend or family. Oh, painkillers, darn it. Such a tease that look like antibiotics or pills. Okay, we got some side doors here too. Oh, there's somebody in there. That's a bathroom. Maybe there's uh, antibiotics in that medicine chest. And there's more rooms over here. Wow, this place is pretty big. I like it. Boy, we could stay down here for a while, couldn't we? All right, let's let's uh, let's see if we can find some antibiotics. I'm just going to check everything. Oh, all right. We've got somebody else coming through the door here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Well, now. I wasn't used to that. Oh, construction worker. This guy must have been down here working on the bunker. Oh, gosh. Ah. Oh. Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him while he's down. Still not dead yet? There we go. There we go. All right, we got... Is there one more in here? Here, let's try to get his attention. Hey! Yo-ho! 
Over here, dummy. Here he comes. There he comes. Let let this guy do the work. Come on, pal. It's just wood. You should see what the other guy just got through. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one shot and oh, I shot. The... Oh no! Did I just take out the whole medicine cabinet? No, I didn't. Oh, oh, he's not dead yet. Oh, you faker. Holy cow. Dude, just... What is going on? What? This guy's invincible or something. Okay, he's really gone. Oh, no. Drop the loot. Grain alcohol and a splint. Ooh, wait, grain alcohol. Grain alcohol. I think we can use grain alcohol. I think we can use grain alcohol on something. Hold on, let's check that out. Grain alcohol recipes. Oh, a first aid kit. Yeah, that's not going to help us with the infection, I'm afraid. Oh. oh, somebody on this side too? Yeah, I think so. Hello? Anybody in there? Come on out. All right, never mind. We're coming in. Oh, there he is. Shh. Wait, is that a corpse right there? Oh, yeah, it's a corpse. Okay, let's... uh. Let's get some light up here. I can't see. Oh! oh. <laughs> he just died! And rotted all in one split second. That's interesting. Alright, I think we can shoot a gun off in here. I don't think the sound will travel too far. It's a bookshelf. That's great. Looks like a couch there. We got a crate, a loot crate there we can check out. Look at this. <gasps> a gun safe! Wooden chest. Nothing in it. It's locked. Cabinets. All empty. Oh man. Come on. Antibiotics or even a jar of honey. Press boy cap. Yeah, that'll come in handy. Empty. Man, they really didn't stock the shelves here, did they? And a meat stew. Cloth. What's in here? We got paper and a gas can schematic. We might as well just read that right now while we get a moment. There we go. We can make a gas can. Uh, really need antibiotics. That's good. Steel arrows. That's nice. All right. Let's uh, let's dump out some of this inventory because it's getting. I'm getting quite full, and I need to make some space. And I'm going to dump everything that we don't need to carry around right now into the, um, in the refrigerator. And we'll come back for this stuff later. We're probably going to spend the night here anyway, right? I mean, at least one night, maybe more, I don't know. we got the whole town to go and explore, and we really need to find, uh, antibiotics. Now, what do vitamins do? Should we take the vitamins? They improve wellness and can cure early stages of dysentery. <laughs> Um, I don't have dysentery right now. Let's hang on to those in case we do get dysentery. I hear somebody um, breathing heavily nearby. Where could that possibly be? I wonder if there's like another secret room or hidden door around here maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I still haven't gone through all these cabinets. I think I might go eat this meat pie. Does it smell delicious? It's still warm. Look at that thing. Meat stew. Let's eat it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Your heart, soul, and the rest of you already feel... What was that? Oh, wow. Wellness plus six. Maximum health and stamina cap increased to 106. Oh, that's nice. Is that a permanent effect? Mmm, that was delicious. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's open up this crate right here. Loot crate. And hopefully there's a medicine cabinet. Oh, construction tools, level nine. Um, with antibiotics. But no, we got an air conditioner... And that's not going to help us at all. All right, let's go check the rest of this, uh, of the bunker out. We've got a lot of cabinets here that we haven't seen yet. Oh, look at this. A blueberry pie, a bottle of water, and another meat stew. Fantastic. That meat stew is fabulous. But meat stew is not going to save our life. We need either antibiotics or a jar of honey. Or the ingredients to make antibiotics. What is that? Oh, sham! Gotta love some sham. Let's go check this room over here. Lots more cabinets. 
What's that? Oh, scavenging just went up to level 7. Oh, that's fantastic. In fact, we have a whole bunch of skill points we need to spend. And one of them I'm saving up for is uh, called Quality... I think it's called Quality Joe. We'll take a look at that in a second. Because Quality Joe apparently increases the quality of the loot you find uh, by a significant amount. Let's have a look right now. Quality Joe. Yeah, right here. This is a perk. Cost eight points to buy, but we need scavenging 20 first. And our scavenging obviously is not near 20, although I could I could buy up to 20. But I think we'll just use... We'll wait for scavenging to go up on its own. Let's put some of this stuff away in here for now. We don't really need it. And I think we're going to head out and go search this town for... Um, meds we need the medicine we're gonna die we got 31 minutes we really do not want this infection to advance to the next stage cabinet nothing that's a lovely cabinet though look at that marble countertop and a cherry wood front Ooh, beautiful be beautiful somebody spared no expense down here oh toilet untouched there i touched it all right, uh, let's toss that in here, too. Murky water can actually be used to make antibiotic. So we'll hold on to that. All right, I think we'll go... It's 11 o'clock right now. Let's, um, let's undress. And we're going to go out into the desert yet again. And see if we can find some antibiotic. Or anything else that saved Paulina's life. So later, when Paulina gets dressed again, her clothes are going to be nice and cold. From the refrigerator. Pretty cool stuff. Oil. Alright, let's uh yeah, let's head up. It's eleven thirty now, we got plenty of daylight. But I am gonna make a new axe, actually. Let's uh let's scrap this one. Let's whip up some more arrows too. And use up all the stones we have. We're gonna have to collect some more stones. Uh excuse us, fella. Alright, let's go. It is now noon, so we have plenty of daylight to find some antibiotics or a jar of honey or a beaker <laughs> to make our own antibiotics. Apparently, nurses, nurse zombies can have antibiotics as well as infirmaries, medicine cabinets, that kind of thing. And they might even have a, uh, a beaker on them, apparently. Oh, look at that. Large beef ration. Pretty good. <gasps> The plane! The plane! It's an airdrop plane! Are you kidding me? Oh, look at it go! Did it drop anything? Wait, come back! Oh, there it is! It's on the map! It actually shows on the map! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, there it is! Yeah, we've already been there! Dead ahead! Oh! Well, I wonder if an airdrop will have medical supplies. I bet it's a pretty good bet. I mean, they're dropping supplies for survivors to, to survive, right? To help us out? Somebody is, anyway. I'm assuming it's the military. And uh, my guess is, is there could be a good chance of finding medical supplies in a supply crate. I, th I say we go for it, although that's pretty far. And I hate to leave this bunker because it's so awesome. But this is familiar terrain. We've been here before. And uh, we we can uh, we can just stop at one of these houses here if need be. It's 12:30 right now. Let's have a cool drink. This Paulina is gonna get super hot running through this desert. Ah, how's that, Paulina? That good stuff. It looks good. So green. All right, go quick. Someone's on your six. Quit fooling around. <laughs> All right, we almost there. How close are we? Right there. All right. Right up and over this hill. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Temperatures are fine right now. Pauline is not overheating. She seems good. How you doing, girl? She's looking good. I think removing the clothing definitely helped. Because every piece of clothing does um, provide some insulation. Oop. We got, we got a walker here. Mine! I saw it first! I claimed it. Get out of here. I told you, buddy. It's mine, so don't even think about it. I don't care how big you are. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. The more noise they make when they move. 
All right, let's open it up. Please be some antibiotics. Antibiotics! Woohoo! Grab it all! Whoa! Thing exploded. Oh man, that was perfect timing. Well, let's go ahead and use it. All right, pop one, Paulina. to save the rest. Although apparently, if you cure this infection, this zombie infection, you become immune to it in the future for like ever. Oh, this says cured 49 minutes. Oh, maybe we're just immune for 49 minutes. Okay. Yeah, and immunity forever would be kind of OP, I guess. Let's go back to the bunker. That bunker's too awesome to pass up. Not to mention there's a safe in there. <laughs> and uh, I want to get in that safe. I'm going to pound on that safe all night long to get through. Because it seems like it's going to take a while. And which means we're going to need a lot of axes. Which means we're going to need a lot of rocks. But Pauline is feeling great now that that infection's gone. So let's head back. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. We're back at the bunker. So let's uh, let's get inside, and get settled for the night, and I think I'm going to uh, whack on that safe a bit and try to get into it, that gun safe, and see what's in there. Let's block this off for now. We don't need any zombies to fall down here. In fact, why don't we just block off the door, at least with these things for now. Good enough. All right, down we go, and I think I will block this off. Oop, got to duck down there, Paulina. There we go. Okay. That's going to have to do for now. It's not very secure, but better than nothing. And let's dump some of this stuff out in the refrigerator. Oh. Yeah, we got some. We got a book here. Mini bikes for dummies. Let's read it. I guess now we can make a mini bike. That'd be awesome. That'd be a great way to get around. And we have an AK-47 schematic, too. Fantastic. Right, let's put our, uh, let's put the bedroll down in here somewhere. Looks good right there. Perfectly fine. And now it's time to start whacking on the gun safe. It's a Nat Krez safe. Oh, those are good ones. Yeah, this is going to take a while. But we have all day. I mean, it's only, what, 4.40 in the afternoon? <laughs> So I think I need to shorten the days in this game, so remind me to do that. I know I've meant to do it. I talked about it several times. I want to drop it down to about maybe 40 minute total. And uh, we'll get into some nighttime action because that's where the challenge really lies in this game is at night, trying to survive the night. But since the days are so long, we never actually get to any nighttime action. So don't forget to remind me in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll change that for next time. Holy smokes, this is going to take forever. Yeah, we really need metal tools, apparently. Look at her swinging wildly. <laughs> Looks like she's swinging all over the darn place. All right, guys, this is it. We're almost through. Cross your fingers and your toes and your mud flaps. We need some good luck here. Come on, Paulina. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Is it still? Oh, it's unlocked. Okay. I think we just broke the lock off. And what do we got? We got old cash, a pistol barrel, hunting rifle parts, and a shotgun receiver. Are you kidding me? And these are used parts and not even new parts. <laughs> but there's no gun in here. Or ammunition, you'd think. A gun safe would have an actual functioning firearm. Holy smokes, that was not worth the effort or the time or the waiting. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's get rid of these body parts. Have we search this guy? Yeah, yeah, sham sandwich. Okay, well, that was a little underwhelming, I have to say. So, let's call it quits right here, right now. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to have to try to get into some, like, forging and metal tools and uh, weapon smithing. And I think we're going to need, like, a workshop for that or something. But we got to find clay and bellows so yeah we, we still have a bunch of work to do all right with that my friends we are going to call it quit say pauline come out over here and say say hi or bye or something say something she doesn't say much no no stop stop you're so aggressive it's okay girl you're safe down here take it easy all right so that's it for now i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you did a like on the video is always always appreciated leave a comment and all that jazz and we'll see you next time all right have a good day Bye-bye. Stop, Paulina.